this is Captain Jack. And we are Sailing Lily. Okay, hello everybody. Today I am going to be refitting. Is refitting the right word? For what? For the V-Birth. Refitting or redecorating? Um. De ugly -fying. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, so we're not waking up inhaling paint chips, old paint, fiberglass shavings. What else is that? Shag here? carpet, you know. Shag carpet, sticky tape, mildew. <laughs> So my project today is Project V-Birth, and we've spent the last couple of days gathering supplies to go ahead and complete this, um, and I will be going over all of the supplies that I used and the price points in which we've gotten everything at, just to give you an idea of um, how we're kind of financing everything project by project. That's something I've been thinking about doing in a later episode um, to keep track of things for ourselves and just to give you guys an idea if you want to go through this process. Um, basically everything I've gotten for the V-Birth are things that we can use throughout the entire ship. Um, I'm going to start with a lot of sanding. So I have a hyper tough 2.5 amp 5 inch sander with the round um, circular shape, round padding. It's a lot easier to get within a lot of these nice curvy textures that we have throughout our V-Birth. And I have this hooked to our shop vac, which is a, how many amps is a shop vac? Five? Like eight, I think. Or yeah, oh yeah, eight, or uh, eight and a half, no, eight, eight amp shop vac. Um, so that I don't have to worry about dust getting all over me. And it's really simple, just a little shop vac from a store that shall not be named. Um, the sander was about 20 bucks from Walmart. The pad was about five, and the shop vac, I think, was about 44. Um, we have really sticky, nasty residue all over our V-Birth fiberglass walls due to the previous owner having carpet uh, lining the walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with 120 grit sandpaper, and I'm going to try to smooth that out. Um, before we had shore power, we were hand sanding with 80 and 100. 80 for the tougher parts around the edges that we couldn't really get to with our previous flat sander and 120 on some of the smoother edges so we didn't really damage the material. Now we are going to be painting over this with a primer and a gloss so our goal is to get this as smooth as possible. So I'm going to start with the 120, clean it up and then go back over it with a super fine, um, I think 200. Four. Is 400 grit. It, was it 400 grit? Yeah. 400 grit sandpaper to make it super smooth to get it ready for painting. We are using safety equipment. Um, I have a set of clears, a mask made by our cousin Jen, because right now you can't find a mask anywhere, not even for safety precautions in construction work, <laughs> which is terrible. Um, gloves. Yeah, it matches my shirt. Gloves, and I probably should have on more protective layers on my skin, but it is Louisiana summer. It's June 3rd. It's probably 100 degrees outside with 100% humidity. And well, um, I don't I know. I weigh 180 pounds right now. I'm going to weigh about 150 in about 15 minutes. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hot. It's hot. So mm -hmm. uh, the chances I'm going to take, and I don't try this at home, but I would rather take my chances with itchy... Uh, dust then heat exhaustion because we do not have air conditioner in here nor do we need it um, we have circulation but it's minimal and I would like to be able to do this whole project um, without having to stop um, for a numerous amount of times just because of the heat so...
we are sanding this big, beautiful blue wall that we have here in our beavers. Hey, babe. It's not beautiful. It's it's not beautiful but <laughs> but it's slowly going away. So we have sanded this down, acetoned it, and because the not the prior owner, but the first owner had carpet stapled to this entire area and just random holes drilled, which I missed one. Uh, on this wall, I'm going to have to go through with what we call some wood filler, um, which is about five bucks at Lowe's. Um, Minwax stainable wood filler, which basically, um, now that I have sanded this down to where it's paintable, I've acetoned it, which is removing all of the sand residue I'm going to go through while I'm working on the rest of the bee birth and fill in these little holes. So basically, all we're doing is getting this open. Do you have some something I can? It's like a super glue top. <laughs> Pause. So now it is open and usable. So I am going to go through, so you can see in Lee's example here, mm -hmm. and we are going to fill some of these holes that we have with our wood filler. So I'm going to give that a couple of hours to dry while I'm sanding everything else and then clean it up a little bit and that'll be good for paint. Now I can move on to the other blue wall and then we're going to start, actually I'm going to go around. No, because I need to let that dry and that's got a lot more holes. Yep, we're going to go to the other blue wall now and move on to the fiberglass which is what we want to do anyway. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start sanding the fiberglass. And we're gonna start in this little area because why not? Fix things. <laughs> yes. Did a great job. That was, I was talking to Mr. Mike, he was just making sure that we got power and everything okay. Yeah, he came Because here. of the whole box yeah. uh, swap up thing. Yeah. Or whatnot. He can't hear the sanders going? Huh? Oh no, uh, it, that, that, that part's fine. Got you. What's up? Alright, so guess what? He's Navy. Mr. Mike's Navy? Yeah. Oh shit. Guess what fucking job? No way. Sonar technician surface side. You're kidding. No, I was like, I looked at you, like, yeah, I did sonar or whatever. And I was in there, and I was like, whoa, I was like, shut up. STS or STG? And I looked at him, I was like, STS or STG? He's like, STG. And I was like, what'd you get out of? And he's like, well, I got out of Chief. And I was like, well, Chief, STG3, good to meet you. And he was. He's a fucking. Sorry. 
Time to get the roof done. What are we doing again? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. It's really hard having a beard this luxurious. Oh, and by the way, this is another tip, tool, pick up, whatever that we just found out. I was probably going to say it just a couple hours of work, but I did the smart thing, being a mechanic, and I picked up some brake cleaner. Um, although it was non chlorinated, which I usually use chlorinated, but I mean, you know, if that's bad for the ozone, then I'm going to tell you to stop breathing. So, because that's bad for the ozone, too. But, <laughs> this is a non chlorinated form, and I picked up a case of it. Uh, I think it was like 12 cans for 20, 30 bucks, something like that. And all this carpet gunk glue that we've been fighting for the last four hours being in here. Use this, wiped over it, came right off. Totally pissed this belt off. Well, her more than anything because she's been in here for like all day. All day, all day. While I'm sorting out electrical stuff. And so now I'm in here helping her and I was like, hey, why don't you go grab that box of stuff that I picked up? Maybe that'll work. Wiped over it once, she about slapped me. I'm really happy though because um, I was about ready to give up. I think the last thing I posted was I don't know what I'm going to do now because the sander's not working anymore. Yeah. And the acetone wasn't working and like nothing was working. Yeah, sander didn't work, acetone didn't work. Nothing was You could get it with chisels and elbow grease and sandpaper, but it was a damn chore. But no, nope. brake cleaner. My heart is beating to your drum And I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes Not thinking twice in my this dumb Although I know you're all I want How could I crave something so bad? My sweaty palms reveal a warning I should hear But I don't care, you drive me mad I'll know the truth and run to you You know too well I need you close Can't help myself Try to stop me but under your spell Can't help Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. If you start wondering what purple ducks sound like upside down, you should probably stop. I don't think we're airing this part. <laughs> I don't think they can see me making the puppy brother face. Oh. Such a stupid little thing. I'm a mechanic. I fix things. <laughs> and 
never know what the fuck you need brake cleaner for. Sorry, oops. What you need brake cleaner for, but good deal. I believe in it. I believe in brake cleaner. Yeah, she believes in brake cleaner. Not me, but brake cleaner. Three words. <laughs> Mine, I'd like to get out of here too. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure there's a mosquito on my mask. Like, kitten. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, and look at that, I was right. A mosquito on my mask. Those are some sticky hands. Alright. Can you grab the fan? <laughs> now we can start sanding. <laughs> you guys here. Well, we are done with the brake cleaner for now. We just have to go through and sand some more. Oh, so much work to be done. So much work that has gotten done. Guess what they sell? Where? At Dirty Boys? At Dirty Boys. What do they sell? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great tour guide. Do they look like what, babe? Look like tankers or auxiliary. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that it's They don't look like warships, but I can't see either. So. I think they're just carriers. No, they're not. They're too small? Way too small. Flight, or the main deck's not set up for it. So you had me bite through the bullet I won't play a second fiddle with you You look away just when they pull it You gotta step up, yeah, you miss your cue Ooh, ooh, your time is up now I'm no fool I know what you are up to keep things cool But it won't help you, help you This time This time
so relaxing. Oh, my beer. <laughs> 